So start by going to dropbox.com and you should see a sign in. Now for some reason you do not see sign in this screen similar to this screen. There may be a box up here that shows a name. I don't have it on my screen but it may show that you're actually logged into somebody else. Just click on it and hit log off. Then you'll be presented back with this screen. Put in the username and password that you have and um, then just go ahead and hit sign on uh, for the upload. Once you sign in successfully, you'll see a box similar to this. Now you may see some files in here if there are already files that have been uploaded, but it'll look something similar to this. And you want to find the uplink, which is upload right here, that little arrow with the file on it. Just go ahead and select that. And here you'll be presented, you can select multiple files at one time. We're going to download two files, or upload, excuse me, two files. So let's go ahead and just select Choose Files. And then it's going to open up a box. Now I could go anywhere on the system and find anything that I want. What I'm going to do is just download these. And I'm just going to click on that one and click on that one. Now notice if I just click on them, it's just going to do one. But if I hold down the control key on my keyboard, that's the control key, you'll be able to select multiple or the shift key. So let's try that one more time. I'm going to click on the first one. Then I'm going to go to my keyboard and hold down the control key. Then I'm going to click on the next one. Then I'm going to release the control key on my keyboard. Both of them will stay highlighted. I'm going to select open. And here I'm going to see the files right here. Notice here how they're downloading. It gives you the time that's remaining. And then notice here you get a green check mark indicating that the file has been uploaded uh, to Dropbox. Now you can go ahead and continue and hit add more files. When you're done, select done. Now you see the pictures are right here. And then you can just tell the person on the other end who wants to view those pictures that they've all been uploaded. They will use the same username and password that you have signed in and you will be able to share those files.